I've never seen a thing like this. Let's do a hoita. Oh, they're so cute. And, and there you have like your protection. I've never seen yeah. that. Yeah. No, something Mexican? Yeah, yeah. something Mexican. <laughs> These are boxing. Yeah. Okay, bueno. It's been four months they've known about this fight, you know, um, about two and a half months of hard training and it's just like every day, you know, you're thinking of that person morning and night, you know, thinking about what they're doing. When you're not training, you're like, oh, I need to get in there because, you know, you think they might try to get the upper hand or be in the gym more than you. Hace tiempo también, ¿no? Así, como la Ahora, patada. Estamos haciendo un poco de Muay Thai. Pateo, bloqueo y mucha velocidad que ella tiene en su pateo, lo trabajamos. Es muy buena, me lleva el suelo con una facilidad, por lo mismo que parece rayo. I'm looking forward to winning this fight, you know, and getting a title shot. For me, this fight means everything. This is my dream come true. You know, uh, our fight at the finale was in front of like 4,000 people, maybe at the Palms. This is going to be more than 20,000 people. I'm going to be on the main card opening up for Cain Velasquez, somebody that I idolize. I'm very humbled to be, have this opportunity to represent uh, the straw weights and the women in the UFC and also the Latinas because I'm Puerto Rican. I'm here fighting in Mexico. I know I have them along my side. I'm just here to show the world Tiny Tornado and move up in the rankings. Might be a little chillier today up there. We're going to do that for just to get you more of your endurance. So we're going to Ocotal and it's really crazy looking like it's this big forest but it's on top of a mountain. We got this altimeter. Uh, <laughs> 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 so it's like uh, I think like 9,000 something feet above uh, sea level. Keeping my cardio going good uh, just for the last few days of fight camp. The minute you turn around, bam, it's on. There you go. Yeah, reset. Give me some shadow. Just give me a little shadow boxing. Moving around a little bit. Just a little moving around. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> We're about to go expand the lungs out here in the nice high altitude weather. Um, yeah, we're gonna go run some sprints and expand these lungs, you know, get acclimated to, to, the, uh, to the altitude. Go. So today I had Kelvin and Johnny doing uh, some 6 by 60 meter sprint work. And then right afterwards we did some blood lactate testing just to kind of see how his body was responding to the uh, difference in the altitude pressure. Stand up, Johnny. Close off your head. I've had Kelvin sleeping in an altitude tent above 7,000 feet for about six weeks. Uh, so, so he's already used to the difference in the actual oxygen percentage. But it, it takes a few days to get to get used to the pressure of uh, out the difference in altitude pressure. So we're just kind of seeing how his body responds to to those different physiological stimuluses, which uh, the readings we got were perfect, which tells us he's ready to go for the fight. Well, we live in Denver, uh, about 6,000 feet. I think it's around just over 7,000 here, so uh, sometimes I train uh, at around 7,500 feet. I came, I came two months ago and got to see the city and meet the fans and everything like that. So now it's time to give them something. Last time I came, I just gave them some interviews. Now I give them something real. Hey, this fight ain't gonna be nowhere near as dangerous <laughs> as this car ride. This is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Nobody banged out yet. Hey, come on. Yeah. That, yeah. Up. Hey. that was a ride. That's how you ride. Yeah. He's coming, no, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Yeah, he's my favorite. Yeah. I want to weigh in, who do I call? Bella. Right Can we circle her? Yeah. 71.2. You good with that? Right now. Great. I'm very excited. I'm excited to be here in Mexico. I never thought I'd be fighting in Mexico City. Uh, you know, I'm excited to, to get the energy of the fans here. Viene con con ánimo de campeón y listo para pelear y a representar el pueblo. Oh, that was better than any roller coaster I've ever had in Disneyland. You guys made it. Yeah, we did. We're gonna go walk around. I just gotta go check my weight. Let's go get some food. Weight's good, only 13 pounds over. Maybe. Estamos en el gimnasio de Mar Delgado, Renzo Academy. Vino Rafael, Orlando, mi hermano. Todos estamos aquí haciendo entrenamiento para la pelea porque no podemos estar parados completamente, ¿no? Entonces hemos hecho seis asaltos de cinco. 
eh, mucha intensidad y ahora me siento muy bien, me siento el, el Superman. Uy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ah. He's ready. Now it's just about keep his focus. Yeah. We don't have nothing more to do. We just watch King Velasquez fights. We just keep in team, keep our energy inside the team now. And that's it. Saturday is gonna be awesome day. Fabrice is gonna prove he's the best heavyweight in the world. Hoy por la mañana, yo fui a desayunar. Encontré a King Velasquez. Fui a saludar a King Velasquez y me dijo, no te voy a saludar. Yo, como, ¿por qué? Y me dijo, no, porque has hablado mal de mí. Yo estoy, estoy seguro que Ken Velázquez me quería hablar normal, pero alguien le dijo algo. Alguien le dijo, cree que es Luco Rojo. ¿Sabes quién es Luco Rojo? ¿Sabes quién es Luco Rojo? No, ese na, es ese, ese nadie. Luco Rojo, no body, same thing. Puede ser que salió ah, sí, que el primer episodio de Embedded. Salió que, que no es me, mexicano, ¿no? Él es americano y sus padres son mexicanos. Entonces, él no es mexicano, mexicano. Pero representa muy bien a México. Yo siempre dije eso. Hay que decir la verdad. Pero me dijo, no te vas a saludar. Y yo, muy bien. Oh, he, he, you know, go around saying that I'm American trying to be Mexican. You know, I am Mexican. I am. You know, my parents are from here. I have the, the Mexican blood. Yo, yo tengo sangre me, mexicana. Estoy orgulloso de ser mexicano. Y que, que está diciendo cosas así allá afuera en el, en el público. Y esa mañana me quería saludar. Pues, pues no, no, no. Si vas a, decir, vas a decir esas cosas, está bien, pero no, no somos amigos la, la próxima día. Si vas a estar en un lado, pues te pones ahí y te quedas ahí. No, no que hablando mal y luego me quieres hacer de amigo. No, así no. That's, that's so stupid. I'm not gonna be, you know, I'm not your buddy, for one. I'm gonna whoop your ass. It's okay, because I get to settle it on Saturday. I'm happy about that. You know, I get to settle it physically.